all my fellow Weight Watchers, there will be many losers but also some winners of the upcoming 7.9 rebalance. In the next minutes I will present you 5 robots that will definitely become winners, so in case you have them, you may consider trying this out on the battlefield. The first one is the Fenrir. The Fenrir is safe from the 7.9 rebalance and can be combined with lots of weapon setups. In addition to this, almost everybody should have received a gift bringer Fenrir for Christmas. According to the latest information, also flamethrowers will finally not get a nerf, so this will definitely be a build worth looking into, also considering that Fafnir's will get a lot slower. Also Sonics will stay unchanged with Acids, we have to wait a bit more what the impact will be. Glory Corona will get a 10% buff, but not sure if this will help them really to become viable again these days. The second robot to look into is the Typhon. The Typhon is a very versatile bot, and since Metabots will get nerfed, it may become very viable. There might be less Fafnirs with Shieldbreaker pilots around, and also Orochis may have a harder time to deal with it. Also Atomizers will get a 10% damage buff, so if you have a few in your inventory, it will be worth trying this out. Apart from that, the strongest Typhon builds these days are with Rastors, Pulsars, and also don't forget Scorches. According to the latest plan, also, these will get a 10% damage increase. The third robot to look into is the Capri. It was already a bit of here when it was introduced, and in my understanding, there are no plans to nerf it in any way in the 7.9 update. These days, it's mostly used with acid weapons or Cromolas by top players. However, don't forget, also Magnetars will get a considerable damage buff of 15%, definitely worth to look into. In case you don't have a Capri, also other healers will get a buff in the 7.9 update, the Mender with its new legendary pilot and the Demeter will probably stay the best alternative, but the Tyr will get a 15% repair capacity buff and the Wayland may learn how to walk in repair mode. Another winner will be the Behemoth. Its biggest drawback was always that it could not walk while its mode with 4 heavy weapons was active. This will change and this will lead to many new options that you can use your Behemoth for. Apart from for smoothness, of course, one option will be to use it with incinerators. Like the Scorchers, they will also receive a 10% damage buff. Other options for sure will include Prismas, Punchers, although this will get nerfed, and potentially Brawler builds, for example with Sonics, Acids, Flames or maybe Redeemers. Finally, the Erebus. It has one heavy weapon less than the Behemoth and less HP but it can compensate a bit with a powerful Aegis shield and a very useful ability. The Erebus will not be affected by the rebalance and will surely also profit from the Fafnir nerf, because so far Shieldbreaker Fafnirs were a really good counter. Like for the Behemoth, Prismas, Punchers and of course Smoothers are the best choice at the moment. After the 7.9 update, Incinerators may become quite powerful. For Punchers we will have to see at the moment, the plan is that they get a quite considerable nerf. So that concludes my video of 5 builds to look into for the 7.9 rebalance. I hope that you found it a little bit useful for your own planning. Thanks for listening in and see you on my channel.